Tommy TTK here. We're going to investigate two important features of mechanical keyboards, the sound they make and whether we can improve our reaction times compared to membrane boards. Check the description to skip ahead to the reaction time test. Mechanical switches offer a pleasant smooth typing experience. This is a big improvement over the mushy depression of membrane keys that can sometimes feel like you're typing into shortbread or an omelette. Avoiding this kind of confusion is one of the main advantages of mechanical switches. But what else are they good for? What about gaming? Do they actually give any advantage over regular boards? But first, and perhaps most importantly, let's investigate the sound these things make. I recorded the Cherry MX Board 3.0 with red switches and the Cytec Eclipse 2 membrane keyboard using this condenser microphone. I don't have access to a blue switch keyboard myself, but I asked my good friend 3ClicksPhilip, world famous for CSGO videos, amongst other things, to record his keyboard on our behalf. Now it's time to test the response times of the two boards and compare them against a mouse click. I wrote this program to test the total delay as a result of my human reactions plus any hardware and software induced delay. There is no network induced latency here. So jumping ahead to the final results, we can see the difference between the mouse and the W and spacebar keys for both keyboards tested. I ran the test 30 times for each and calculated a mean, median and interquartile range just like doing maths coursework back at secondary school all over again. Our results came out more or less as expected. Clearly the mouse click wins with an expected response time around 14 or 15 ticks. The membrane board on the other end slowest at around 17 or 18 ticks and the mechanical keyboard sits somewhere between the two, about 1.5 ticks slower than the mouse button. Remember, this is measuring the aggregate delay induced by my own human reactions plus any hardware and software induced latency. Most of those 14 to 18 ticks measured are my human reactions, so the fact that we can gain one or two ticks over the membrane board represents a big reduction in input lag due to the keyboard itself. Okay, so one to two ticks doesn't really sound like much, and for most games, for most gamers, that really doesn't matter. But if you're playing Twitch-based shooters online, where one tick could mean the game registers your action sooner than your opponent, then that could change who ends up dead and who ends up alive. Again, I don't personally have access to a blue switch keyboard, but I asked another friend, two clicks Philip, to test his out and give us some feedback. Alright. Thanks, three kilk Philip. So, the final part of this analysis is to actually try the keyboard out in some real Twitch based gameplay. I'm going to use the Unreal Tournament pre-alpha build and Overwatch. I'm also going to do something really stupid and try using the spacebar as my primary fire button. This is something I used to do in some FPSs and given our findings today showing membrane boards with about a three or four tick delay compared to mouse buttons it was probably a terrible idea but now that I've gained at least two of those lost ticks back with the cherry keyboard I want to see if it's viable again. Now why would anyone even want to fire with the spacebar anyway? Well you're just gonna have to subscribe and wait for that video if you want to find out. In the meantime, watch the next video and see the red switches perform in some Unreal Tournament pre-alpha. If you don't know what this Unreal Tournament pre-alpha even is, then well watch the bloody video, I'll tell you about it.